Long before Pope Urban II declared the First Crusade, Our Lady waged her own crusades in the Holy Land against the powers of darkness, a crusade which led to a second angelic war in heaven. Never heard about Our Lady's crusade before? Well, do you want to learn more? Very simple. Stay tuned. Howdy, and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca, and before we get going, I want to let you know that you can have a beautiful, full-color Catholic magazine delivered to your front door by clicking your screen right here. And if you want to learn more about this incredible Catholic magazine, then stick around until the end of the video, and I'll tell you all about it. Okay. On to Our Lady's Heavenly Crusade. This true story that I'm telling you today occurred during the time that Our Lady lived on earth after the death of Christ. The church was young, and there was much to be settled. So St. Peter, the first pope, asked Our Lady to travel from her home in Ephesus back to Jerusalem. But before I go any further, I want to tell you that this story comes from the writings of a Spanish nun, Venerable Maria de Agreda who received these visions from the Blessed Virgin Mary herself. As you can see on your screen, Venerable Maria's body has been preserved since her death in the 17th century. Truly a miracle. Our Lady told Venerable Maria that she stepped off the ship in the Holy Land. She was accompanied by her 1,000 guardian angels, but she was also followed by Lucifer and his legions, who appeared as dragons and other monstrosities to threaten and to tempt her. But when she arrived at the holy places of our Lord's Passion, the demons broke out into fearful roarings, which only Our Lady could hear. They couldn't bear that Our Lady made her devotions and the holy sites of our salvation with the utmost perfection. Essentially, Our Lady was praying the sorrowful mysteries of the rosary and pondering them in her heart in such a way that they put the demons to flight. You could say that Our Lady was on a fierce rosary crusade in the Holy Land. It's a good reminder that although my devotion is not as strong as our Immaculate Mother's, I can't ask for a share of her devotion while praying the rosary. You can use it too as a spiritual sword against the enemy. So amidst their dreadful roarings, Our Lady could make out some of the demon's lamentations. They said, let us fly from this woman, our enemy, whom confounds and oppresses us by her virtues. Then, when Our Lady visited Mount Olivet to meditate on the Ascension, she was graced with a visit from Our Lord, who descended from heaven to spiritualize and transform her. This is just as St. Paul speaks in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 of the spiritual body bearing the image of the heavenly. But Our Lady, Mother of God, achieved this in the highest and most sublime way, because she is the perfect woman. She is also the perfect image of God. This event is also similar to the Fatima apparitions when Our Lady was filled with the light of God and radiated His divine light to the seers and they saw themselves in God. Our Lady understood that these special graces were a reward for her obedience to St. Peter's commands, that above her devotional practices and for enduring the attacks of the demons to get there. Before he left, our Lord renewed his promise to be with Our Lady in the battle against the demons, whom he said would be more convinced of Our Lady's power as they had not experienced before. When Our Lady returned to the cynical, the demons again tried to tempt her. But Venerable Maria says that they rebounded like inflated rubber balls when thrown swiftly at a stone wall. That didn't turn out so well for them, so they were driven to admit that they could not defeat her. (laughs) But they continued their pointless rebellion because of their undying pride and envy. Meanwhile, Our Lady was undisturbed and prayed that the church would be able to resolve the controversies related to the laws of the Old Covenant. And Venerable Maria says that the success of the Council of Jerusalem was a direct result of Our Lady's merits and her prayers. But you may ask, why didn't Our Lady pray from afar? 
Well, as you'll find out next week, in the continuation of this episode, St. Peter uses his papal authority to ensure Our Lady is present at the Council of Jerusalem and for our very special reason. The crusades against the powers of darkness only continued and the battles escalated during her crusade in the Holy Land until the second war in heaven. Now stay tuned to this channel because we'll make a whole separate video about that very soon. Okay, now let's talk about that Catholic magazine that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. The Catholic magazine that I mentioned is called Crusade Magazine. We call it that because we print this magazine to help us all in our crusade against the devil and in our march towards heaven. Crusade Magazine is full of news, articles, Catholic wisdom from the saints, and hundreds of stories of the Catholic faith, just like the one that we talked about today. Each of our Child of Mary members gets a subscription to Crusade Magazine as one of their gifts when they join. So, if you'd like to have a gorgeous and inspiring Catholic magazine delivered to your front door, we'll take a look in the description box down below, or you can go ahead and click right here. And as soon as you sign up, we will start sending issues of Crusade to your front door, and we'll also be able to send you a beautiful metal lapel pin and a traditional Catholic mass prayed in your name every day, 365 days a year. Click that link and join us as a child of Mary today. Okay, that's all I have for you today. May God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima focused content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a Child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a Child of Mary. God love you.